right, today we're going to talk about stretching. Uh, and stretching is, is an important part of what we do and how we train, uh, train our bodies, uh, how we help the, the pool training. Uh, you know, it's, it's really, an, we usually think of it as an auxiliary piece of, of uh, helping us get better at swimming. Um, but it's actually a pretty important part of what we do. Uh, but I think it's important to outline the differences between um, stretching for like flexibility uh, and stretching for mobility. They're, they're two different things uh, and we use them in different ways. We do use both of them. You know, we do need some flexibility. Um, but but most of our most of what we do is, is focused on mobility. Flexibility is the ability of a muscle to lengthen passively through a range of motion, and mobility is the ability of a joint to move actively through a range of motion. And usually, when we're talking about stretching, or, or when we hear people talking about stretching, they're talking about stretching for flexibility, right? Doing static stretching, or even doing some dynamic stretching where you're thinking about trying to lengthen that muscle to do something, you know, an example would be to be able to do the splits. People stretch to be able to do the splits. Uh, but the problem with stretching for flexibility is it's not really permanent. You could spend uh, a whole day or, or even two days working on being, stretching to be more flexible and be able to get into the splits. But if you can't actively get into those splits when you're doing a handstand into the splits or doing some kind of range of motion activity, uh, then that stretching didn't really do, that stretching for flexibility didn't do all that much to help you get better at that skill, which is doing the splits. You know, and I think a swimming example would be, you know, we need some flexibility to be able to get into a streamlined position. We need some shoulder flexibility. We need some lower back flexibility to try and find a nice flat line in our back. We need some hamstring flexibility to be able to hold our legs uh, in that streamlined position as well. And so, so there is flexibility there, but it, it doesn't matter. We could spend all day making sure that we can get this perfect, beautiful, tight streamline behind our head, but it doesn't matter if we can't push off a wall and get into it, right? So you can spend all day, if you can only go to here, stretching to here, but if you can't go from here to here, at a moment's notice, then it's not really helpful to us in terms of improving our performance in the pool. And that's why we tend to focus more heavily on mobility exercises, right? If you've been doing our online dry lands, we've been working on stuff like W to streamlines, where we're working on rotating the shoulders actively through that motion into a streamlined position so that we know when we come off the wall, we can get in a streamlined position, we dive off the blocks, we can get into that perfect streamlined position. And it's the same thing, right? When we, when we work on planks or when we're doing glute bridges or anything like that, we're working on moving our body into a streamlined position and not just isolating the parts of our body that need work. So I think the a big thing is that mobility is training our, when we do mobility training, when we do exercises to improve or even sometimes limit uh, our mobility, it's we're, we're training our central nervous system to allow or to limit specific motions to help keep our body, to help keep our joints healthy and safe. Uh, and because what we don't want to happen is if you do too much stretching for flexibility or you work on mobility that's outside of a, a normal healthy range of motion, you get what's called hypermobility or hyperflexibility uh, and it, it may allow your body to do things technique-wise in the water that can cause, that potentially are, are one poor technique, but could potentially cause injury. Uh, and that's a big thing with shoulders. And that's why when we work on shoulder movements, when we work on hip movements, when we work on knee movements, we're really focusing on trying to keep them within our swimming specific range of motion so that our arm goes in the water where we want it to go in and it pulls where we want it to pull and we don't have necessarily the mobility to pull with poor technique or because our body's going to make that response. Our central nervous system is going to say, hey, this is going to hurt. Hey, this is going to cause injury. This is where that range of motion is. And that's, and that's really the big advantage of mobility training is that it strengthens our body in new and improved ranges of motion that are going to, you know, protect 
us keep us healthy, prevent injury, uh, but they're also going to make sure that, um, that we have the range of motion that's necessary to perform whatever movement we need to do in the water. And I don't want this to come off as stretching for flexibility or just stretching in general is, is a bad thing. There, there are certainly things we can do stretching for and, and that it can be healthy for. Um, you know, I think that when you have really tight muscles, uh, you know, doing that stretch can provide some kind of temporary relief, just pulling the, the, the muscle fascia apart, uh, allowing some relief to happen there. Also, it, you know, it does allow some growth to happen. Um, but really, you know, what the data shows is that, you know, stretching for flexibility isn't necessarily what's uh, improving our range of motions. Uh, and so that's why, you know, especially before workouts, uh, we want to focus on that mobility training. Uh, and if we're going to do some, you know, work on improving flexibility, like I said, we may need to improve specific hamstring flexibility, or we may need to improve, improve specific lower back flexibility. And that's something that we can put uh, into our training to make sure that we can do the mobility exercises that we need to do. Um, but we want to do those things after our workout so that we're, when we're warming up, we're, we're warming up our, our muscles and our joints uh, to prepare for range of motion activities. Um, and then afterwards, we can do that additional uh, stretching to improve flexibility work. Uh, you know, and it also depends on your goal, right? I think our my goal as a swim coach and, and goals as a swimmer is, is improving swimming performance. But if you also have a goal to be flexible, you just want to be flexible in general for general flexibility, uh, then that's something that, that you can certainly work on and, and plug into your routine. You know, you know, talk with your coach, figure out a plan for how you can incorporate improving, you know, the more static sense of flexibility uh, into your workout. 